All right, guys, I got a package here from Amazon, Target, and a, a few things I bought at a comic book shop. Uh, I, I know I'm still catching up on reviews, but I want to show you these things real quick. First thing I got at the comic book shop is this Wonder Woman comment. This is a limited series. One, this is one of two. I like the art on that. love Wonder Woman, so I bought that. Then I found this, Adorbs of Howard the Duck. This is a specialty series. I don't have a lot of dwarves. I have like five counting this one, I think. Uh, this one I wanted because they don't have a lot of Howard the Duck merchandise out there. And I've been seeing this one at another comic book shop I go to. 15 bucks though in that shop. They had it for eleven ninety nine, So I grabbed him. Now I'm going to get him out. Look at that. That's just cool. I really like that Howard. I just think it looks cool. And he's going to sit on my shelf. So that's cool. Then I grabbed this little alien dude from uh, uh, Toy Story. Really cute. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Sorry about that. Anyways, that's it from the comic book shop. Uh, let's get into this Target package, which I've been waiting on this one for quite a bit. Because uh, ever since this was went up, I wanted to buy it, but didn't because I didn't have the money. Then I went to go check for it in stores, didn't have it, so I just went online and grabbed it, finally. So I've been waiting for it to show up. But let's pull this one out. It's actually bigger than I expected. But that is the Target Con exclusive. Kirk and Spock from Wrath of Khan, um, which I love Wrath of Khan. I actually just rewatched it recently in 4K for the first time, and it was great. So I'm going to pull this baby out. There's the front, there's the back, cool. And then here's the little Target Khan sticker there. If you can see that there. Doesn't want to focus on it, but. it already have slime right there in the front of that glass can I get it off this is brand new out of the package it has like scratches on it that is weird that's weird but that is Here, I'm gonna put this plastic piece back on because I think it hides the scratch better and then also makes it look like he's actually trapped in there. But yeah, this is, you know, there's Kirk, there's Spock, you know, saying their final words before his death. I still detest to this day the other Star Trek movies after Raptor Khan for bringing back Spock. It was one of the greatest movie deaths of all time. Uh, one of the saddest moments in any movie I've ever seen. And yet they brought him back and literally the movie right after it. Didn't even have him dead for a full movie. It was really ridiculous. And I get it. Uh, Leonard Nimoy really loved the character and he wanted to come back and replace his role. That was his story. But it's just like his end was beautiful. And I, I still detest that. But this is an amazing looking pop. It's still a great scene. Still a great moment in a Star Trek movie. It, and I'm putting it right there. And that's going to look great. I love that. I love how that looks. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Now this one's from Amazon. And uh, that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 40th Anniversary Steelbook. Um, so that Jimi Hendrix figure... Uh, Funko Gold figure. I ordered that off of Amazon. I'm not sure if I showed that off in a video or not yet, but uh, I bought that in Hot Topic be 
because I pre-ordered it from Amazon and it wasn't supposed to come till May and I'm looking at it going it's here right now in stores and Hot Topic for the same price as Amazon so I canceled that order and I uh, went for uh, this Texas Chainsaw Massacre steelbook instead which was actually on sale for $11.99 uh, which is, or ten ninety nine, which it still is, and this is the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, steelbook. I mean, look at that. It's not, it's a pretty simple cover art, right? You got Leatherface, and then the state of Texas, and you got the main girl who survives in it, and then you got the chainsaw on the back that gives you an image of the farm. Pretty simple, pretty effective steelbook. Didn't have this movie at all, and uh, for ten ninety nine for a great movie in Steelbook, can't beat that. And yeah, just looks fantastic. Definitely gonna rewatch this one soon. Kind of, a, it's kind of weird that I'm buying so many horror movies before Halloween because most of these movies, I've just like had the opportunity to sit down and watch them. I'm like, why would I watch that now? Why not, why not wait till October? But then when October comes, I don't watch them either. So. I don't know why this happens, but it happens. But it, it's a great movie, and I want to have it. 